Hello and welcome to this tutorial where you will learn some more advanced usage of the scripted sequence entity. I will just go through the um, properties and the flags of the entity and uh, tell you what they do. First let's look at the different animations that you can choose to put in a scripted sequence. First there is the pre-action idle animation. This animation will be played if the uh, NPC needs to wait for something before he can play the other animations. More on that in a little while. Then there is the ent entry animation which will be played before the action animation, which is the main animation, and it will be played before the post-action idle animation. The post-action idle animation can also be looped if you want to. The custom move animation allows you to uh, put a animation that the NPC will use while moving to the scripted sequence. If you do that, you will also have to put the move to position property to custom movement. Other than normal animations, you can also put in activities such as act run as they have in this example. There's a website that uh, lists all of these uh, activities that you can use, and I will have a link to that website uh, in the description below. If you have two or more scripted sequences that you want to play synchronized, you can give them the same name, and when you s tell these scripted sequences to play, they will all play synchronized their animations. So if one of the NPCs gets to his position before the other NPCs, he will start playing his pre-action idle animation uh, while he waits for the other NPCs to get into place so they can play their animation synchronized. If it doesn't matter too much exactly which NPC does the scripted sequence, you can, instead of putting a name in target NPC, you can put a class name such as NPC Zombie or NPC Citizen. If you do this, it will just pick a, a random uh, uh, NPC of this uh, class in range and you can set this range in uh, search radius right here. The loop action animation property should uh, make it so that uh, the action animation loops but in my tests it didn't make them loop it just made them freeze at the end of the animation so uh, if you want him to freeze at the end of the animation uh, put this to yes. If you have synced up several uh, scripted sequences, like I said before, and you want the uh, post-action idle animation to sync up as well, you can uh, set the sync post idles to yes. To set how or if you want the NPC to move uh, to the scripted sequence, you can uh, change the uh, move to position setting. If you set it to no, he won't move at all, he will do the scripted sequence where he's standing right now. If you set it to walk, he will walk to the scripted sequence. Run, he will run to the scripted sequence. If you set it to custom movement, he will play the custom move animation while moving to the scripted sequence. If you set it to instantaneous, he will teleport to the scripted sequence. And if you set it to no, turn to face, he will face in the same direction as the scripted sequence, but not move to it. If you want another scripted sequence to play after this one, you can set its name in the next script property. If you have one or more NPCs playing scripted sequences and uh, they move close to each other so they bump into each other and block each other, you can uh, set the um, disable NPC collisions during script property to yes because on both the scripted on the both of these scripted sequences this will cause the uh, npcs not to collide at all during the scripted sequence and now let's move on to the flags if you check the repeatable flag you will be able to use this scripted sequence more than once leave corpse will uh, force the corpse of the npc to stay if he dies during the scripted sequence Start on spawn will uh, make the NPC move to the scripted sequence and play his uh, idle uh, pre-action idle animation. That one pre-action idle animation while he waits for you to tell him to start the scripted sequence for real. The no interruptions flag will uh, make the NPC not care at all what happens to him. He will just play the scripted sequence even if he gets hurt or anything. 
the override AI flag will uh, is kind of like no interruptions, but uh, if he gets hurt, he will cancel the scripted sequence. The don't teleport NPC on end flag uh, will make it so that if you have a an animation that causes the NPC to move during the scripted sequence, he will get teleported back to his original position if you have this flag checked. If you don't, he will stay in uh, the um, position that he ends up in. The loop in post idle flag will um, make him loop the post action idle animation. That animation. The priority script and allow actor death uh, flags um, doesn't seem to do anything at all actually. I did some tests and I have looked on the internet and couldn't find anything. And that's it. Now you know almost all there is to know about scripted sequences. If you liked this tutorial, uh, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and favorite it. If you want more tutorials as I make them, press the subscribe button above or the track me button below if you're on ModDB. So thank you for watching and have a great day.